the toilet fill valve. First, we will identify the parts of a fill valve and then how the fill valve operates. This is the fill valve system. This is the valve cap that contains the valve seal and this is the valve arm. Here is the refill tube and the refill tube clip. These are the fill tube, the float, and the adjustment screw. The lock ring, the fill ports, and gasket. The lock nut that secures the fill valve to the toilet tank, and the threaded end of the fill valve. The connector, supply holes or tube, and the water supply valve. And finally, this is the critical line that will be explained later, and now how the fill valve works. Waiting for the next flush, water sits in a tank at a level about a half inch to one inch below the top of the overflow pipe. And the water level lifts the float, which lifts the adjustment screw and valve arm and seals the valve closed. When the toilet handle is pressed, it lifts the lever and flapper. Then the tank water drops and rushes into the bowl below. As the water level drops, the float follows. The adjustment screw and valve arm also drop and opens the fill valve. Supply water flows up the center tube, passes through the valve, down the outer tube, out the fill ports, and into the tank. Water fills the tank and lifts the float. The float lifts the adjustment screw and valve arm and seals the valve closed again. The tank water level is adjusted with the adjustment screw. Turning the screw clockwise for a higher water level and counterclockwise for a lower water level. Also, as water is filling the tank, some water flows from the refill port through the refill tube and down the overfill pipe to refill the toilet bowl. And here are two important safety features to protect the water supply line in case of a fill valve failure. First, the refill tube clip provides an air gap above the overflow pipe, which keeps the tip of the tube away from the water. This prevents water from siphoning back through the refill tube to the fill valve. The second safety feature is the critical line mentioned earlier. The height of the critical line needs to be set at least one inch above the top of the overflow pipe. Just in case the fill valve fails to close, the rising water in the tank will flow into the overflow pipe and down to the toilet bowl. This will keep the tank water level below the fill valve and prevent water from flowing back to the fill valve. How a toilet flush valve works. This will help troubleshoot problems. First, let's look at the parts of the flush valve. This is the entire flush valve. And here is the handle that is attached to the lever, which is attached to the flapper by a chain between the lever and flapper. As just mentioned, this is the flapper, and this is the flush valve seat. Here is the gasket that makes a watertight seal between the flush valve and the toilet tank. The lock nut that secures the flush valve to the toilet tank. And finally, the overflow pipe. Now let's look at how the flush valve works. Water sits in the tank waiting for the next flush. Pressing the handle down lifts the lever, which lifts the flapper. Now the water in the tank rushes out of the tank through the valve and down to the toilet bowl. Air in the flapper helps it float and the flapper lowers as the water level drops and eventually falls to close the valve. The flapper and the valve seat form a watertight seal and water from the fill valve slowly refills the tank until the water reaches a predetermined level that is normally one half to one inch below the top of the overflow pipe. The overflow pipe serves two purposes. First, it will prevent a flood if the fill valve fails to close. The rising water will overflow into and down the pipe, through the valve, and into the bowl. The overflow pipe's second purpose is to refill the bowl. Water from the fill valve flows through the refill tube, into and down the overflow pipe, through the valve, and into the bowl. How a toilet bowl works. First, we'll point out the parts of a toilet bowl, such as the bowl, the rim jets located under the rim, the siphon jet located at the bottom of the bowl, the tank to bowl connection where the water from the tank enters the toilet, 
the siphon and the waste outlet located between the two mounting bolts. Now on to how the bowl works. The bowl water line is near or at the level of the siphon. When the toilet handle is pressed and lifts the flapper, the water in the tank rushes through the hollow channel in the rim and out the rim jets, and through another channel out the siphon jet. The bowl water and waste are pushed up the front of the siphon. Gravity pulls the water and waste down the back of the siphon, and finally out the waste outlet.